Hi everybody on Twitch TV and YouTube, it's Ice Walker here and I'm doing a little tutorial video here for loads of people who decided to buy um, Crossfire um, computers or even SLI computers for use of the game Far Cry 3. I noticed that for a long time they've even said that if you're gonna decide to use a SLI configuration or a Crossfire configuration, do not buy Far Cry 3. But I've Find a permanent. I finally actually found. It took me a lot, or quite a long time of looking, but I finally found a permanent fix for this little issue when it comes to Far Cry 3 playing on more player. Because if you have a, a crossfire on this old bridge for the video, you will, or AMD for crossfire, you will notice that once you are playing a giddy game or once you're playing Far Cry 3 online on multiplayer, you'll notice that once the match is finished, the game completely closes. It just comes a big error saying that our oh, Windows failed um, when it's failed to contain the whatever, whatever message it says, it crashes instantly. The only way I found to fix this error is really, really simple that most people don't know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly switch out this view and I'm going to switch that straight to games so I can show you the really simplest of tricks to get that permanent fix done and you'll be, once you see the trick, you're going to be like, what? Seriously, was that all I needed to do? So just stay tuned and I hope you enjoy yourselves. Okay now everybody, now once you're in Far Cry 3's main game, the easiest way to, if you're using the Crossfire or SLI configuration is the easiest way for you to fix the game so that it doesn't crash anymore is just to follow exactly what I do. The first thing you've got to do is go to the options menu into your actual configurations and then jump straight to video. As you can see in my DirectX, I'm under DirectX 9. For some weird reason, when they will make your Far Cry 3, um, DirectX 11 always has problem when it comes to Crossfire. So the easiest way to fix this so it doesn't crash anymore is just to change DirectX 11 to DirectX 9, which for most of you haven't done already. So what you, you can, just, as you can see, just click it, press right or left, and see if it changes. So you will have to restart the game if you're already on DirectX 11, but I'm not, so I'll go straight to DirectX 9. Apply, press back, back, normal, and you can jump straight into a multiplayer game. So I'm going to jump into what I did for the purpose of this video is I've now um, made all the video quality as low as possible, so you can get the richest recording quality if that makes any sense. Because I don't want any errors or any backfires while I'm recording this, so I can show you guys that it does in fact work. So as you can see, I'm just jumping into any random multiplayer lobby. And now once it joins, I can show you exactly how it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up my Xbox controller. Because I can use this. I've got the Xbox Live um, video adapter. I can't remember what it's called. Wireless adapter for the PC. So I can connect my Xbox controller to my PC and play simultaneously. Okay, skip. Saboteur. As you can clearly see, I can easily run around and all sorts. Um, there's absolutely no difference right now, even though I am on low settings, so you might find a little bit glitchy or any random rubbish, I do not know, but it should be perfectly fine. Um, I don't know why it's first migrating. Oh god. Oh, could you? Could you seriously, you left the game. Um, so if I just find someone, you know, get shot or shoot somebody, I can use that as a valid example. Oh, he's still there. He should have did the same. Just go on to find at least one person. What I want is just to find one person so I can show you that I can kill him or he can kill me. I really don't. It doesn't make any difference, literally. I just wrote my time, but I just want to give you guys a full example of me being able to, let's say, have a match. Have a little gunfight and still jump straight back into the game. So. Throwing grenade! Should go back on the kill. Okay, we've got a revenge kill. One down. Any more people here? He's not coming out anymore. Sorry. That There's was. nothing to fear! I'm reloading! Well, I did kill somebody else. Didn't I? Yes, I did. I killed somebody. So that's the example. Now what I'm going to do is going to quit. And remember, it only happens if you change your DirectX 11 to DirectX 9. So once I press OK, you can now see I will be able to go straight back to the menu, which you cannot really do. As you can just give it a second, and there you go. I'm now back to the main menu screen. 
you know, for some reason it does get a little bit laggy once you go back, but if you have enough time, you could now get to the button you want, and vice versa. So, yeah, that's how you fix the Crossfire Bridge error or SRI error, and have a permanent fix the game one player online and be able to navigate straight back to the menu like you normally would in a normal game, or even if you're normally would on a single GPU. Thanks for watching, remember like, comment, subscribe because I love to read here about your feedback and any information or any upgrades I hope you don't know or any other way or other fixes there are so you can keep your 11, keep me informed and I'll try to post a video by them. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys next time.